I'm often asked a single question. Why is it that some people have profound experiences and others seem to go nowhere and have mediocre experiences? And it all comes down generally to one thing, and that is mindset, effective mindset. Often people are fixated by their techniques and they look at the techniques of themselves as a magic bullet. Techniques are not a magic bullet. If there is one, it's your own mindset. And a self-empowered mindset is the essential key to effective out-of-body exploration. In other words, your ability to break free from all of the subconscious belief systems and indoctrination that you've had from childhood. Many of us feel oh, they're not indoctrinated. I hear this all the time. But I can assure you that we have all been the result of some form of indoctrination. Just think of it for a moment. We have been indoctrinated from birth to accept the idea that we are a biological being, that we are our bodies. And we take it for granted because it's the basis of all civilization. Yet, in the first year of my out-of-body experiences, I learned a shocking thing. During many of my experiences, I experienced myself beyond my humanoid form. And for me, especially in early 70s, this was a, a major shocker because I realized that, oh my God, I'm not a human being, as I've been taught to believe. I am consciousness. I'm a pure consciousness with the ability to take any form, any shape that is necessary for me to achieve the goals that I'm setting for myself. In other words, the very basis of our entire civilization is based on the fact that we're human beings. But what if that assumption itself is flawed? And if that assumption is flawed, then how many of the other things that we have learned from birth are also flawed or absolutely false? It's about examining your own mindset closely and opening yourself to a greater potential of what you truly are. So the bottom line is that many people limit themselves by accepting, even often in their subconscious mind and conscious mind, of some fear-based philosophies, for instance, this idea of, of negative beings that are lurking to do harm to us. Nothing could be further from the truth. We are immortal, powerful beings. We create our reality. We're the ones who must take control of our state of consciousness. It's up to us to be the commander of our state of consciousness. The only thing in our life of value is what we take with us at the moment of our death. We're taking no, nothing else with us but our state of consciousness. That is the key. That's the only thing worth focusing on. Unfortunately, many people focus on the exterior. When the key to an effective mindset is to always focus on your own state of consciousness, to enhance your own state of consciousness. It's essential. For example, Fearlessness. Fearlessness is a major attribute when you're exploring beyond your body. If you're afraid of every little thing that occurs, you're going to have a difficult time with this. You have to learn and understand either in some manner that you are immortal, you're creative, and you're powerful. You create your reality. And that will determine your path. That will determine the effectiveness of your OBEs and even the length of time you can, you can maintain that state. Okay, also, it's important to realize that we are interactive. The non-physical dimensions are thought responsive. Many people don't even think of this. They think everything that they observe is a reality. It's not the case at all. All form in all of its many guises in every dimensional state, are a vehicle of consciousness. It's not reality itself, because reality is consciousness. 
So it's important to be aware and not be obsessed with the outer facade that you encounter and stay focused on your inner self or in your own state of consciousness. That's why it's so important to use controlled techniques like awareness now to enhance your state. The moment you leave your body, it is imperative to use a powerful command affirmation that will allow you to enhance your state of consciousness so you can be an effective explorer. In other words, for many years, I started out using clarity now. That helped me to be sharper, to maintain my OBEs. Now, for the last 25 years, I've been using awareness now. It allows me not only to become sharper, and but it also allows me to maintain the out-of-body state for extended periods of time. Any time that you feel yourself becoming heavy or less mobile or your perception capabilities become diminished, you must enhance your state of consciousness. It's, it's, it's essential to prolong the experience. We have to be aware that all realities, physical but especially non-physical realities, are thought responsive to some degree. But, and that we have the ability to control that state. And we do it internally. Also, it's important to be, as far as mindset is, to be always open to your own potential. Own your own power that you have the ability to have profound experiences. Know it within yourself. When you have an out-of-body experience, move inward. Know that you are the commander and that you have the ability to answer the questions, whatever question it may be. Ask questions. Make demands of yourself. Ask whatever you need to know. If you're in an unknown area, demand the answer. What do I, where am I? Whatever it is you need, make that inner request and allow the answer to flow through you. Absolutely know that you have the ability to navigate, to observe and explore your non-physical realities and own it. Accept your own personal powers. Realize that you are pure consciousness. You're not, a, you are temporarily, we're all using vehicles of consciousness for expression. We're doing it in the physical body. We need a physical body to express ourselves and commune with others, to learn, to have physical experiences. And we also, in other non-physical realities, in other dimensional spaces, we will use other vibrational bodies. But you have to be aware that these bodies are not you. They're still vehicles of your consciousness. We possess many energy bodies. We're multidimensional beings. In the workbook, I'll, I will provide... Uh, some clear, uh, just say, graphs that will help you to um, get a clear idea of this. But it's know yourself, know your multidimensional nature, and you'll be more comfortable and have more ability to navigate. Also realize that you are immortal. You're not, you're, you have nothing to fear. You have total control. When you know you're in control and you take Take the reins. You have full control. Also, realize that the out-of-body state is the most natural state. Actually, in our physical body, is it's just a temporary experience. We're projecting our consciousness now into a physical body. Our out-of-body state is a much more natural state for us because we're closer to our own source. And later in the program... We'll talk about this. Also, it's important to realize that all that our thoughts, our fears can manifest. If we have a block, for instance, if you re encounter a wall, that wall means that you have a block within yourself that you have to confront. If you confront somebody or something that is blocking your progress, then send love to that. Be in control. Realize that you are the center force of all the energy around you. 
and that all form is a temporary facade. Own your power and expect to have enlightening experiences. Expect to absolutely obtain the answers for yourself because there's nothing that is stopping you from obtaining the answers, all the answers. is nothing stopping you from experiencing your inner self, your true self, your multidimensional aspects of yourself, except you. So you have to own it. And the more that you own it, the more these enlightening experiences will happen. It all comes down to mindset. And of course, persistence, as I've said earlier. Daily practice, persistent, and mindset will take you far. It will take you deep within yourself to the answers for yourself. Tap into your own courage to become an effective explorer. Once you fully understand and realize and internalize within yourself that you are immortal, that nothing can stop you from obtaining your true knowledge of self, from experiencing your true self, then nothing can. The problem is that people have bought into these false and primitive belief systems that are fear-based. I have found in 45 years that all the fear-based philosophies out there are bogus. They're man-made to control us. Many of you already know this, but we have to internalize it. Because in our subconscious minds, we all are the product of our childhood. I am as well. I was brought up uh, in a very religious family. And I had to break free from that. And I had to examine it. And it took some effort. And I had to really dig deep. And I, I would suggest that you do the same. Dig deep. Take a look at your own mindset. Take a look at what do you believe what supports what you believe? One of the most shocking things that I learned from the very, in the first five years of my OBEs was that almost every single thing that I have learned from, the, from birth was flawed or false. It's, and it was shocking to me. Everything. And yet, we accept so many, even the concept that we're a human being. Once you, you let's say, break free from all these self-imposed paradigms, your ability, your freedom to explore and experience your multidimensional self becomes greater and greater and greater until you have the ability to absolutely connect with even your higher self or your spiritual essence or whatever term you use. It's so important, and this all comes down to mindset. And this subject is not talked about enough. Instead, so many are fix, fixated on just techniques. But take my word for it. Mindset is the key to out-of-body exploration. Own your personal power to explore within yourself without limits. And once you internalize that, there's nothing stopping you from obtaining all the answers you need today. Then you can have, people can have an enlightening, powerful experience immediately. They don't have to go into a cave and meditate for 20 years. It's a matter of opening up yourself so that you can truly experience that eternal, multidimensional aspect of yourself. And that is all comes down to mindset.